everyone, welcome back to Sagami Beauty. I'm Krisha. Welcome to a massive Charlotte Tilbury haul. I've been collecting some, you know, random orders here and there for probably over a month and I'm just getting so impatient because I don't even know half of the stuff of, you know, what I ordered and I just want to open it in front of you guys, swatch it, and of course I will do a demo video. I'll do that separate so this one's not too long. For today we'll just do the unboxing and swatches, first impression sort of a thing. And I had to kind of like dress up, get dressed up all glam. The brand evokes sort of this art deco glam vibe and I just sort of had to I don't know, follow suit. I am wearing actually a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I don't wear very often because as you can tell, it's quite bright and that's not usually my go-to for every day. But it is the Matte Revolution in Tell Laura. And I don't usually love the Matte Revolution lipstick range. I find it a bit waxy, um, not drying necessarily, but just a bit waxy and just sort of like it sits on top of the lips. But and I'm kind of looking in the back mirror and it's quite pretty and I just put on a really really good layer on it I don't know. I really really like it. So hopefully it doesn't look too Garish on on film, but I don't know. I just thought I'd go a little bit more more glam for this video so before we get into it, of course, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ring the notification bell if you like being notified when I upload a new video. And then I'm also on Instagram doing posts daily at Zagami Beauty. Okay, that is it for the intro. Let's get into this massive Charlotte Tilbury haul right now. So I got a couple pieces from Sephora. So most of my stuff was from the Charlotte Tilbury website. She's been having really, really good 20% off sales here and there, bundle sales, promo type um, things and I'm a sucker and I just I've been really enjoying her makeup so much lately so I kind of went a little bit overboard. Sephora had a couple things that I noticed as I was in there the other day with my daughter and we kind of looked around and then I thought to myself I'm like oh you know what I really want to try that bronzer again maybe in a different shade because I really did not enjoy the airbrush bronzer in the medium shade. I felt like it was really, really quite yellow based and it didn't really do anything to enhance my skin tone very much. So I ended up picking up the airbrush bronzer in the third darkest shade, which is tan. I have a review. I have actually a follow up to the review as well on my channel. So definitely take a look and see what I said that time around but it's just a beautiful bronzer in terms of the packaging. The pan size is absolutely stunning. So I've done a whole review on it already. This time around, I just wanted to get the different color and just see if this one is a little bit better. So I'm just gonna swatch it. It's still coming off slightly, maybe not yellow. This one's a little more caramel. I do feel like the tone is still slightly yellow based so we'll see I don't know I just really wanted to fully 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 love this bronzer because everything about it is so so beautiful and I just wanted the tone to suit me better so we'll definitely do this in a demo and we'll see what happens maybe third time you know third video is a charm we'll see and then I really wanted to get this blush and I have quite a few of her cheek to cheek blushes. My favorite actually happens to be an ecstasy and I do list my top five powder blushes in a video which I will link or put in the description box. But this one really caught my eye for summer um, when I was walking by. It's called Love is the Drug. It's definitely more vibrant pink. The outside color is a little bit more peachy. The middle is a little bit more fuchsia and then mixed together you sort of get a nice bright pink so it's quite matte not a lot of sheen to it we'll see I don't know it looks really really interesting for summertime and next one is going to be I already opened it but then I realized I want to do a video so I didn't actually like fully fully open it we have the receipt typical Charlotte Tilbury beautiful packaging like absolutely stunning every single time and I'm not sure what is it's like Christmas time you guys because I don't remember what I got yeah, so this was a gift with purchase. You get a, or no, this is eyes to mesmerize. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I, I don't know. I was expecting this to be something else. Okay, anyways, compose yourself. This is eyes to mesmerize, and this is in which color? Rose gold. Yes, I remember this now. So rose gold was sold out for the longest time. It came back in stock. It was part of a bundle, so I got that. And this is their cream eyeshadows. They work really, really lovely as a base and really lovely on their own. And once they set, they don't move. This color is quite a rosy gold, has quite a lovely sheen to it. Moving on, 
Pillow Talk Diamonds in Lucky Diamonds. I love to use the Pillow Talk Diamonds top coat on a daily basis lately. You got to choose in this pack, I believe, which color you wanted. And so I decided to get the dark color. Really, really beautiful packaging. So pink and glossy. It has like diamonds coming down on the packaging. Very, very thin bullet, which is really nice. It is slightly more brownie toned slightly more on the darker side but it doesn't look overly dark yeah just sort of like a terracotta slightly bronzy shade really really beautiful oh, i wonder if i should put a top coat on no i'm kind of loving this kind of like matte retro look never mind okay and next we have a collagen lip bath and this was the free product that you got with this now i remember it's all coming back to me now this one is the peachy color peachy plum this was the gift with purchase if you purchased over I believe it was like hundred and twenty dollars Canadian or so so lovely collagen based lip gloss it has that like heart shaped foam applicator oh and it's so beautiful it has like sheen to it sparkly glossy not overly sticky from what I can tell can't wait to try this on for you guys in a different video. The final product is going to be the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. It's in the blushing color of Pink Gasm. These particular products, just the contraption is kind of interesting. It does have sort of that on and off on it. So you just kind of twist it to turn it on and off and then you squeeze some out. I don't love this particular packaging. Just like I don't love the magic concealer, that twisty concealer with the foam applicator. But the Magic Instead of the product is so good that I don't mind it. So we'll see how this goes. I have tried the highlighter shade, which is beautiful, but I haven't tried the blush shades. So you just squeeze it out, you get some product there on the tip, and then you would just dab it and then kind of blend it in. So I'm a big fan. Oh my God, I didn't turn it off. Now it's probably going to be all, oh, see? Like if you don't twist it back and you squeeze it to put it back on, like this is the thing. This is the one thing that I don't, Oh yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan. Oh well, we'll see. The product's probably worth it. Really, really quite pretty. Again, I'll show you guys a swatch. Moving on, next box. We have just two more boxes to go. So again, same idea. We have your receipt, your return label, and then it's just packaged so pretty, so securely. This makes me so happy. Oh, makeup. Oh, yes, I remember. Okay, one of these things is for a giveaway for the 500 subscriber mark. I'm just going to leave that one there. I don't want to show you guys what I'm doing for that. So the other products, though, are going to be two eyeshadow palettes. I know I went a bit crazy, but again, there was some sort of promo. I think if you got two shadow palettes, you got to choose which ones, and it was a better deal to do it that way. The first one is gonna be Bella Sophia, which I've been wanting to get for a long, long time, and this originally was called Dolce Vita, and she renamed it recently after one of her nieces. It looks really, really neutral, slightly warm, slightly rustic. And then the next one is Vintage Vamp, which I've wanted for a really long time, you guys. This one is quite ready and not so much for summer, but I think with my eye color, it'll be quite enhancing with the blue tones in my eyes. A little bit more mauve a little bit more kind of like subdued mauve ready. And then I have two more products and I don't remember these. Oh yes! the hot lips I've wanted to get these for a long time so I don't have any of her sort of like Hollywood hot lips collection I think they were Hollywood hot lips I'm not sure but she named them after a bunch of celebrities or women that have inspired or been inspirational whether in film music first one I got one refill and then one you know that came with the bullet because again these are refillable so it was a better deal to get the set that had the one full bullet you got to choose which one you wanted and then you could get the refill and I just I don't know I just thought it'd be a better deal so I just did that so the one with the bullet I got is dance floor princess and this is the one which pays homage to Kylie Minogue which is the Australian pop singer you know music artist and it is such such a beautiful neutral pink color I'll show you guys swatches of this one and the next one which is JK magic and this one was supposed to be also on the lighter side but a little bit more peachy so 
very very happy about that and that's just the refills and definitely more neutral toned so less pinky a little bit more nudie and I really can't wait to try these on I love the kissing formula and that's what this particular line is so happy with this order totally forgot that I got these products it is like Christmas seriously when you have stuff sitting there on your dining room table for over a month and you finally open it so so excited last box oh this one's really really light what did I get in here hopefully I don't stab myself oh my god this is danger you guys I keep thinking every time I open boxes I keep thinking oh my god health and safety at work would be so disappointed in me <laughs> the way I open boxes at home oh my god hilarious okay so same packaging so pretty so beautiful Yes, this I got recently. She had 30% off and it's still running, you guys. I think till August 6th, I believe. So don't walk, run to her website. If you are looking at getting anything Charlotte Tilbury, now is the time. She has 30% off a bunch of beautiful bundles. So I just got a repurchase of the Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk and then both of the Pillow Talk diamonds because I love the original Pillow Talk diamonds and I thought, oh, I'm for sure gonna love the lucky diamonds and if I don't I'm gonna add that to my giveaway because I just opened one of them so I'm not gonna open this one that might go into a giveaway or I might give it away to someone else um, yeah yeah so excited for the giveaway so definitely subscribe let's get to 500 you guys so I can do this giveaway but yeah the original pillow talk diamonds as a backup and then the lip cheat as a backup because that combo is just absolutely heavenly and that is it that is it for the haul I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're just as excited as me for doing the demo video because I want to see these in action and I know that really helps you guys too to actually see them on the face swatches are good always of course swatches are good but it is really really good to see how they apply give you my feedback and I think that's going to be a very very fun and interesting video which I will be filming next so hopefully that one comes out in about a week or so stay tuned for that I'm gonna just you know make sure I try all of these products on for you guys and give you my thoughts otherwise thanks for joining me today in this unboxing Christmas in July video I hope you guys had fun and leave me down below any purchases you've made from Charlotte Tilbury if you've had a chance to look at this sale she's had some pretty good pretty good things on sale all the best to you guys enjoy this beautiful summer season and I'll talk to you guys very very soon bye